I don't know, actually. I so. cause I used to know him for his Wario, but I know the character got nerfed kind of yeah. recently, so maybe he's switched off him since then. Maybe he's just messing around. It, maybe he just doesn't like the matchup. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be on the mic later, so we could probably ask him then. But in the meantime, he's up against Suarez, one of the best Yoshis in the country. Uh, and it's going to be... He's going to have to pull out a lot of cheeky things in order to beat this Yoshi, especially because Piranha Plant, normally one of the best parts of his gameplay is ledge trapping, mm -hmm. and Yoshi just doesn't get ledge trapped. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He, he throws an egg, and he's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> just now you have to shield my egg, and what's that? It's a free jump from ledge. It's a free neutral getup. It's, it's so hard to mm -hmm. ledge trap Yoshi. All right, so let's see. Uh, starter was PS2. Two, one, All right. Yeah, pretty standard fare. Um, I think the stage is fine for both characters. I mean, that's kind of the reason why we have PS2 as the starter so often. I agree. Ooh. And we're already seeing uh, Suarez taking the high road off the ledge, uh, just ignoring the Patui completely. Yeah, and... Oh, okay. Sorry. Every time <laughs> I see Piranha Plant go into that shell... Oh, sorry. Go into the uh, the pot. I, I don't know why I called it a shell. It's clearly a pot. But... Oh, that, man, I forgot how that move's actually a combo breaker. And look how much damage it does as well. This is actually yep. a pretty... Okay, it was a sizable lead for uh, Munel, but all of a sudden now, yeah, Yoshi combos do Yoshi damage. I actually really loved uh, Munel's placement of the Patui in that last interaction where he placed it right at the ledge to uh, catch a normal getup. But Suarez normal will get up to, through it anyway, because, yep. yeah, like, look at that. He throws the egg, pretty much prevents Munel from picking, like, a follow-up coverage option, and then he just gets off of the ledge pretty much for free. But this is where things are, I, are you kidding me? That's, that's what <laughs> you just, do? You just do it. You know, was just dashing in. He wasn't even hitting a button or jumping into the air or anything. That was just a good call out from Suarez, and that was important. Like you, you know, I, I will say that Suarez, as a player, um, some Yoshi's don't struggle to kill at all, and he's pretty good at killing. Um, but there are times, especially when things get more intense, where he maybe plays it a little bit too safe, and mm -hmm. can kind of struggle. Right, let's uh, let's trapping again. Suarez finds his way off. He definitely could have jab locked into uh, yep. the forward smash right there, but I guess he was hesitant, thought he maybe didn't get there in time. And all this height of Yoshi is really, uh, verticality of Yoshi is really making it hard for Mino to find this first stock. Yeah, and this is one of the things, like, Piranha Plant, how does he get kills? I mean, in neutral, how does he get in kills? In neutral? Uh, yeah, it's kind of... Up throw will do it, though. Yeah, up throw will, But that's a up throw at, like, what, 140, 150? I didn't even see the exact percentage. It was uh, about 140 after the hit, but uh, it's it's still a pretty powerful throw. It, it definitely is, but, like, look at that. Yoshi up <laughs> tilt to up there killing at around 100%. Yeah, Yoshi has the luxury of those, uh, you know, confirms that Plant is maybe lacking in just a little bit. Yeah, but it's... Okay, this is possibly we might see some damage come out here. I like this. Mm -hmm. We were talking about how ledge trapping can be difficult against Yoshi, but, um, you know, I think he was looking for a hard read with that up smash. And the, I understand the risk, but I don't know if it was worth it. He just took 70. Suarez at the ledge again. He's, he's comfy out there. Yeah, no, I think he's, like, willingly putting himself on the ledge, which... The other benefit to that means that he's a more freely... Wow, that's yep. going to do it. Yeah. But the thing is, he's more freely giving space. You know, mm -hmm. he's retreating, playing a safer neutral, not having to push so much. Because even if he does go to the ledge, he doesn't care that much. Some yeah. characters in a matchup, uh, you know, like that, they have to be really careful. Uh, because... Piranha Plant is so strong when he traps his opponent in the corner, but Yoshi doesn't care. Yoshi gets out of the corner pretty much for free. So, yeah, he can play as sort of fade backy as he wants. Yeah, uh, what, what Plant generally wants to do is have his opponents come to him. That's how you get, um, you know, all the Patui setups. Uh, you get them in the poison, uh, but Suarez just doesn't have to, and forcing, the, forcing Plant to have to approach is just a rough scenario. Yeah, also one thing about Suarez's Yoshi play in general is that he is 
more so than I think any other Yoshi, the way he gets his egg lays. Mm -hmm. He just really conditions his opponent Ooh. at the beginning of the game to not uh, shield so much. And oh, We're okay. actually seeing a DK swap. I Interesting. I can understand the thought process behind it. However, I also think this is actually a very good matchup for Yoshi. Just the fact that Donkey Kong is such a big boy. His combos are just brutal against him. But I felt like Plant wasn't comboing Yoshi at all. So yeah. at the very least, I think Donkey Kong can return in kind to a certain degree. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this will work out. Uh, DK, I feel like in most matchups, is such a volatile matchup. I feel like you either explode or get exploded. Oh. And speaking of getting exploded. Yeah, Yoshi's uh, just his overall punish on uh, the recoveries from Donkey Kong are it's so hard to recover consistently. Oh, that might be death. Oh. Oh. Chose Man. to go for the safer ledge trap instead of going for one of Donkey Kong's four spikes. Well, it it's, can be very risky. I mean, I think maybe going for like a long-lasting move like Neutraler could have been the play, but even then, he would might have lost all the stage positioning, at which point yep. he would have to recover again. We've already seen what happens when Donkey Kong has to recover against a <laughs> Yoshi of Suarez's caliber. Cargo throw. Nice. Ooh, did he go for the DI mix up there? I think, I think so, that's yeah. what it was, yeah. That looked like Suarez was DIing towards the stage. Ooh, that combo started with down B. Naminel on the ledge. DK's uh, disadvantage state not so hot. Yeah, okay, the arms that have this uh, nice sort of. Are they still intangible? Oh, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forward air, up air. Interesting. I really like that neutral air dodge to get uh, past the DK hitboxes back to stage. I actually don't know how I feel about it, because he's at low percent, and most of DK's options he will armor through. Keep in mind that Yoshi has that double jump armor, which is another one of the reasons why his disadvantage state is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. And look at this, once more, trapped in the corner, Suarez doesn't care. He's able to just dodge all of these hits, get his own started, and just a moment later, and now at 84% already, this is could possibly be Muno's last stock of winner's bracket. There we go, up B, not gonna take it quite yet. If he had gotten hit by like the earlier parts of that, he might have been able to take it, but there cleans up with the back air immediately afterwards. So no real, uh, now nothing he lost too much. DK in a juggle situation once again, burns his double jump, he, but he makes it back down. Yeah, and from this point on, Muno, what are Mudal's, you know, his win conditions? I don't know if he, get, what percentage the cargo throw up throw, up air works on this Ooh. stage, but we're not going to get a chance nope. to see it at all. Yeah, pops out of that egg right into Yoshi's butt. I think, you know, uh, earlier in the set was actually doing a decent job of mixing up his mashing to get out of the egg lay. I saw uh, some of the late pop out of the egg lays. Uh, he took a little bit of extra damage, but not uh, the stage positioning loss. Yes, but I would also say that this damage matters. You oh, know? yeah, absolutely. Like, like the sort of thing where if Yoshi hits you with a follow-up afterwards, like let's say Yoshi neutral airs you, but then you get back onto stage. Yoshi neutral air, it does 10% or 12, depending on if it's short hopped or not. Mm -hmm. um, 